hello guys uh, welcome to this last tutorial of the Sharpie design uh, so in this tutorial we are just going to render this Sharpie in SOLIDWORKS visualize and so I have import my file and I've adjusted the look however I want I also add my logo because all those stuff um, doing those things takes a little bit time and I didn't want to spend too much time adjusting it so I just did those beforehand um, so just to show you very fast to how to import your file you'll go into file um, import then you import models and part and you go into your file location select the assembly open and I left this geometry appearance auto resize and monitor file check and you click OK and so SOLIDWORKS will uh, import it into the assembly I mean would import your file into SOLIDWORKS Visualize sorry um so the next thing we I did is as you I, if you notice in SOLIDWORKS when I made my cap it was on this part so all I did was select the part file part selection to and turn on my object manipulation and at that point I can select each part and all I did is select this and use this gizmo to just move it around to that location so that's all I did with that and so the next thing we're gonna do is go into our appearance and the appearances came straight from SOLIDWORKS which I think looks pretty good you don't have to do too much with it uh, so I like but what I would do though for this appearance is um, reduce the reduce the IOR, IOR value um, for the cap I'm just going to do 1.5 and maybe I'll rename this cap uh, for the body I'm going to do let me rename it body and I'm going to change this is 1.5 so that is good uh, and for the ink the ink also looks good so we are going to leave it that way so what I actually did is add my decal and the decal takes time to do so so I just added beforehand to the location and uh, so to add a decal you will select right click new decal and go into your file location and I found this image on Google and I just make sure it has a white background and I just import them into um, Photoshop delete the white background and save the image as a PNG file so you select it click open and when you add it it should have the it should look gray something like that so what you do is drag it to your part and you also turn on the um, the man object manipulation tool again select your decal and at that point you can just rotate it and adjust it however you want and this decal is clipping um, to fix that all you need to do is um, increase this a little bit and that should fix that and once you have your decal where you want once you have your decal where you want sorry I just selected the body once you have adjusted it however you want uh, so that's what you need to do for that and you add all the decals you want to add to this part for this Sharpie I have two decals on it so I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna show the decals that I have on it so those are the decal and I've added them to the right location that I want and I'm just gonna turn off this and we are done with the appearance and then we're gonna go into the scene um, I'm gonna delete this scene and for this one I'm using the light box so let me go into fast mode so you can see what it looks like so that's what my object looks like in fast mode and I can also go into accurate mode and so that's what my Sharpie looks like so I forgot one thing we're gonna go back into our appearance so for our decal it looks a little bit net and and is white we want it to be black so what we are going to do is to do to change the color and make it pop a little bit we are going to right click new appearance 
and I'm going to change this to a paint um, paint and I'm gonna change the color to black just drop it all the way down to black and the clear code 10 is good and for the clear code roughness I'm going to do 3.5 and so what we want to do is once that is made we're just going to drag it onto that Sharpie logo and if you notice this little black dot for this appearance is showing on that Sharpie indicating that that appearance is added to the decal so I'm gonna do the same thing for this part um, yeah like so and so now we have the Sharpie logo how it all the way we want um, so that is pretty much the whole workflow um, then you're saying I didn't change anything here it's pretty much the default um, numbers and for my camera I did make two camera the first camera that's the first one and that's what the second one looks like and on um, just adjust your camera all you do is hold the hold key and hold left mouse click and just adjust the camera however you want and we're pretty much done with this entire workflow and all we can do now is we can go into this output tool and we can browse to the file location we want to save it our file name and resolution 1920 by 1080 and I want to do um, accurate mode and I can just do maybe like 1000 pass and we can just click start render and there you go you just have your Sharpie design um, as always thank you very much for watching uh, if there's anything I could have done better or any suggestion you have please feel free to leave a comment I would love to learn from you of how I could have made this project better uh, thanks again for, for watching and have a nice day bye